Turo out shooting T. Carell, the only players who have anything network. First killer officially has a shot now, but an easy save. And now a second one goes through far side. First killer scores for Rogue. Tarogo and Turo are hanging back and letting first killer run point. And when he gets this much space in the air uncontested, no one being down the field, but they give away possession about as quickly as they moved up. First killer with a challenge, Turo with the shot, and that one is good for two goals on Rogue. All right, it is tough to keep Rogue at bay. And if you can't generate some offense to kind of keep them honest, you will get buried under a one off the kickoff. Shock's got to climb up. And the former MVP does clear the zone for a moment. It's oh coming right back in. God. There's a demolition on T. Carell. And Turin Turo makes it 3-0. We're watching Picasso play Pictionary. I mean, what is this read from first killer? The tap to the sidewall and Turo, the last man back, slots in the lane. Panasonic get any semblance of momentum at all in game one. The Sonics have a huge role to play here this weekend as well, and Shock has an even bigger challenge in the air to at least put one on the board. We talk about goal differentials all the time, and well, you didn't secure your spot for the World Championship, but you could play spoiler to so many teams. And with shots like that and commitment to the As they almost got one with a little bit of time left, still five seconds left, another look at the net, and it goes in! T. Carell brings them back within one with only four to go. Rogue fans, pulse check. We know you guys tend to stress, and this is another situation where you should be. Turo had no room to work. He needed to have a perfect pinch from the top of the crossbar. Not a lot of boost in the net. Couldn't really manage. And now we got four seconds to go. Entirely doable for Sonics. A great kickoff that might help them as Shock takes it from the ceiling. Clear downfield. First killer will kill it. And no one was there for the extent of <laughs> That old spaceman has died. <laughs> we left him in the dust. Roll Diz trying to beat the defense in the back. Great dunk, opening up the game for Sonics. And this is all just individual recognition. T. Carell with the restabilization down to Roll Diz, and Raul gets the job done. Yeah, Rogue is a team. Much time to be able to find the angle towards the net. So if you jump the timing, you're just playing car on car on ball defense. You have to be able to recover though. Everyone back on defense, but Taroko once more on the elbow. With the demo, Turo sets it up. Not a great clear, and first killer with the challenge leads way to another chance. This is what... Line, it is not happening. Both teams extra vigilant on the defensive end, and it looks like we're headed to OT unless Rogue has something to say about it. Taroko is going to go up to intercept T. Carell, but Shock will have a look, and with no time on the clock, the former MVP delivers Sonics a dub. This was T. Carell and T. Carell only. He's behind the defense, so he moves up into the lane, gets ahead of everyone else, puts his nose right on the top. Out to the corner. This one careens around, and the missed hit almost leads to a rogue goal. Luckily, Sonics can breathe. Now on the counterattack. One, two, demo. Perfect for Shock. Shock picking up right where he left off. He has imposed his will in this series. A little teamwork, T. Carell right at the center of everything the Susquehanna Sonics are doing. A great job of putting numbers on both sides of the net and keeping the ball in play with a pass down. Another one towards the top, Taroko is there and he meets it with 39 seconds to go. Taroko picked a heck of a time to score his first goal of the series. First killer narrowly misses the mark, but Taroko is rest for the Susquehanna Sonics. They nearly gave this game away to Rogue, but they recover. They regain Shock with a side flip. First killer's there, and now he might have closed out game three. Rogue's ability to move upfield and change the way they play. Continue to put pressure on the backline defense, but more importantly, dial up the pace. First killer wastes well, almost with a dunk. Three seconds to go. Can Sonics keep it up? It doesn't look like it. And Rogue take the, the ball out, and Shock is there, but doesn't have a lot of boost. Now it comes down to clear game. You have to be able to boom this ball away. We've killed about two minutes in the game. Pass to Turo. There's the shot. And finally, it pays off. You need someone in the net. It doesn't work. And the first goal for Rogue here in Coliseum comes at a pivotal time. Rogue in front. Halfway. Miller and Shock got in the way. Turin Turo will try his luck. Just trying to delay for his teammates to get in the play. And it turns into an opportunity. Turin Turo gets bumped into a shot. This is bizarre. They had to fight for it, uh, Spaceman. But in the end, Rogue 1-0, Sonics 0-1.
Jackson Pollock is still a great painter. He gets the job done, and guess what? 